This could mean that Logan Paul actually might get his channel terminated. What, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? What do you mean what I'm doing? I'm making a, I'm making a Logan Paul video. Everyone's making them at the moment. What are you doing that for? You can't, you can't criticize Logan Paul. It's the internet. Mate, it's my fucking YouTube channel. I can do as I well fucking please. If I want to make a Logan Paul video, I'll make a Logan Paul video. You can't tell me what to do. I don't care that you have a personal opinion. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you have your own YouTube channel. You're not allowed to do that. You can't disrespect the Logan. Are you mental? What are you talking about? Disrespecting the Logan. I, I, I don't care. Like, this, these videos get views. I, I like, enjoy, I like doing it and I enjoy making these videos and they do well. So why would I not do it? I didn't ask for your life story, mate. Stop talking shit about him. What do you mean you didn't ask for my life story? I'm just telling you why I'm doing the fucking video. Does, does, what does it matter to you? I just, just want to make a Logan Paul video. Don't you worry, you've got 700 dislikes coming your way anyway. 700 dislikes. It's, it's, it's not like Zoella fans were even worse. It's not like that. I mean, these Logan Paul fans are nothing on Zoella. Wait, 700 dislikes? I, I, prob I probably should not swear that much in this video. Yeah, I don't want 700 dislikes. That'd be nice. All right, guys, Harry Potter here. Now, this is a subject I've been wanting to talk about since it came out last night, and I did ask on my Twitter if it's something that you guys want me to talk about, because I know that I've been talking about Logan Paul quite a lot recently, and I thought you might get annoyed with it. So, massive news came out yesterday from YouTube's own mouth in saying that Logan Paul has actually broken community guidelines. So, I'll just get straight to the point. YouTube basically posted a letter on their Twitter account called an open letter to the community. So, I'm going to read it to you guys now and break it down. An open letter to our community. Many of you have been frustrated with our lack of communication recently. You're right to be. You deserve to know what's going on. At first when I saw this I thought well that's fucking brilliant. That is fantastic. YouTube are finally doing what they haven't done in the past and having a bit of clarity with YouTubers and viewers. Because in the past YouTube have been absolute fucking mugs and not responded to basically anything. During the PewDiePie anti-Semitism situation or the ad crisis, YouTube have basically said absolutely nothing. In fact, YouTube have basically never actually commented on anything relevant that is fundamentally bad at affecting the web. Website. I mean, you can basically get away with everything on this website if you're a YouTuber. You just need the key essentials. First off, you need 200,000 subscribers, and then all you need is blue hair, and you're sorted. You're absolutely fucking sorted. But it is good to see YouTube actually having a bit of transparency and a bit of honesty with their viewers. So let's keep on looking at this letter. Like many others, we were upset by the video shared last week. Suicide is not a joke, nor should it ever be a driving force of views. As Anna Arcana put it perfectly, that body was a person somebody loved. You do not walk into a suicide forest with a camera and claim mental health awareness. We expect more from creators who build their community on YouTube, as we're sure you do too. This channel violated our community guidelines. We acted accordingly, and we are looking at taking further consequences. Now, first off, YouTube said they were upset when they saw this video last week. And my question is, how were you upset by it, YouTube? If you were so upset by it, why did you manually put it on your trending site? And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, basically the trending page is a manually performed part of YouTube's website. So some fucker will see some video trending, see some video getting a bit of popularity, a bit of views, and he'll say, fuck it, let's put that on the trending list. He'll bang it on there. Some random people that actually look at the trending tab will click on it because it's the first thing they see on the website, and that video will get a shit ton of views. But the thing is about the trending tab, the magnificent thing about the trending tab is that you're never actually gonna see a trending video on it. Because to get on a trending tab, 99% of the time, you need to be a paid vlogger or a paid corporation. That's why the trending tab is basically a fuck ton of vloggers and a fuck ton of nighttime TV hosts. And YouTube even decided to put low Logan Paul's suicide forest vlog on trending. Logan just went to a forest, a forest in Japan. He brought his camera with him into a, into a suicide forest. He had a few laughs, he had a few giggles. He saw a dead body and uh, he had a, he had a few more giggles. Now for people that actually don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm, I'd be confused if he didn't, but this is basically what Logan Paul did last week. Yeah! Here we go. Walk in the woods. Found a body. Found a found a body. Walked in the woods. Body. Found a body. Found a body. In the woods. Found a body. In the woods. I was in the woods. Found a body. Should I give your mom a motherfucking body? Four links for that video are in the description. It's a fucking good video. Go check it out. YouTube have said that suicide shouldn't be the driving force of views on this website. And that's very fucking true. That is spot on. You should never use death to promote your channel, to promote views. YouTubers have done it in the past, so I don't know why they haven't spoken about that. Quovacop, for example, he clickbaited his dad's death. It's kind of funny to me that YouTube have actually said this because it's clear that they don't give a fuck. They do not give a fuck because they put a suicide vlog on their trending page. YouTube to me here are bullshitting, they're trying to save their ass, and yeah, what they're doing is good, but at least have a bit of clarity, at least just say, yeah, we fucked up, we're being honest with you, 
We know we did bad, we shouldn't have put it on trending, but now we're actually gonna start being normal human beings and actually act how a human would act. So stepping away from YouTube's part of the situation, I wanna go take a look at Logan Paul's situation here because there's a very interesting part of this letter. The channel violated our community guidelines. We are acting accordingly and we are looking at taking further consequences. This could mean that Logan Paul actually might get his channel terminated. Logan Paul could actually lose his channel because this isn't the first time he has broken the community guidelines. There is a set of rules called the community guidelines and one of these rules is graphic content. And in my eyes, Logan Paul has already broken this guideline in the past with this video here. That's funny, Logan. That's really, really funny. Faking your death in front of children. That's uh, that's fantastic, mate. Well done. Let's, let's all have a round of applause for Logan. Faking your death in front of children. Magnificent, mate. Mag fucking magnificent. What you've done there, mate, is you've broken the community guidelines because it's intent to be shocking, and that goes against community guidelines. And that's another example of Logan Paul being a knob. So if you look at the rules, it does come under violent or graphic content and the content was intending to be shocking. But the difference is here that this was fake. That wasn't an actual death. But then a few months down the line, Logan Paul actually goes and presents somebody that has committed suicide in his vlog to 15 million young and impressionable fans. There's a difference between breaking a rule about trying to be shocking or breaking copyright and then going showing a dead body. There's a big fucking difference. YouTube have said they've already acted, which means they could have probably given him a community guideline strike and they should have given him a strike because he has broken the rules there, clearly, and not just one. He's broken graphic content and he has broken shocking content. Further consequence could be that he actually gets his channel terminated considering he's broken three guidelines there already. Now I know this because a YouTuber that I personally know has recently been terminated on the website. A bloke called Messi Bugatti basically got his channel terminated for absolutely no reason and YouTube haven't contacted him whatsoever and the best thing is he didn't have one strike on his channel. The reason that he got terminated was because he violated community guidelines. In my eyes, it was because of hate speech, because he made controversial topics talking about politics. But this does show that YouTube are prepared to terminate a channel even if they've just broken one guideline. One guideline and Messi Bugatti was gone, so I can genuinely see Logan Paul going here because what's happened is he's broken one guideline, but that guideline was a big fucking guideline. He shoe a dead body. Now there's an argument going around, oh, but he's too valuable to YouTube. They won't terminate him because he makes him a lot of money. But is he, is, is, is he really? Because I don't think he is. I think there are plenty of creators to fill the void of Logan Paul. And also, I feel like he's losing the money website. I feel like because of his actions going into a suicide forest, advertisers are gonna see that and they're not gonna want their brand on that because would you an advertiser want your brand on a vlog about suicide because I personally wouldn't now this would be one of the biggest things to ever happen on with a website one of the biggest creators getting his channel terminated but I wouldn't be surprised to see this happen because it's very likely that it's gonna happen what could that extra consequence be to me it couldn't be anything else other than that and if he doesn't get terminated well at least drop him from YouTube red and at least stop promoting him like you did with PewDiePie when PewDiePie was under attack from the media for a joke he made in one of his videos YouTube pussied out YouTube didn't say an absolute fucking thing. They basically just stepped away from PewDiePie and pretended he didn't exist. YouTube, it's mental how you ignored the biggest bloke on your website. The dude with over 50 million subscribers and you just pretend that he doesn't exist. You just don't shove him in YouTube Rewind. But you put somebody like Logan Paul in there. PewDiePie and Logan Paul both fucked up. But what Logan Paul did is much, much worse than PewDiePie. He showed a suicide victim to a bunch of young kids. That is beyond fucked. That is absolutely, completely fucked. YouTube, I respect your transparency and I respect you admitting your mistakes, but if you're gonna actually do something, take some fucking action. It's easy to say this bullshit, but it's harder to do something actually relevant. Remove him from YouTube Red, stop promoting him, don't put him in YouTube Rewind for next year, or just terminate this channel, because what else could that ever consequence be? You've terminated smaller creators for similar things, so why would you not terminate bigger creators? Are you saying that you prefer your bigger creators over your smaller creators? Because on a business mind, yeah, that's fine, but YouTube, you've never admitted it. Maybe now is the time to admit it. In conclusion, out of everyone that has ever been discussed of a possibility of a channel termination, I think this is the realest possibility. I feel like in the past with Rice Gum, nah, that's not gonna happen. Because what Rice Gum in the past has done isn't as bad as what Logan Paul has done. Logan Paul is a complete unique situation and this has never happened on YouTube with a big, big channel. He's been an absolute mug. He's been a complete fucking mug and 
I genuinely feel like he needs some consequences. Even if it's not a child automation, he needs to stop being promoted by YouTube and he doesn't deserve to be on YouTube Red because YouTube Red is a thing that represents the biggest creators on the website. They take their big and their favorite creators and they put them on there. Advertisers are gonna see that and they think, well, YouTube are promoting somebody that made a vlog about suicide and my ads are on that. I don't want that because the same thing happened with PewDiePie. If you're watching this right now and you're genuinely a Logan Paul fan, just ask yourself, step away from Logan Paul, step away from my channel and just think, is it really right to post a dead body hanging from a tree on a channel which is dedicated to an audience of young and impressionable fans? Do you really believe that that was a good thing to do? Just ask yourself that because that is a big question and I feel like a lot of Logan Paul fans aren't thinking about the reality of the actual matter. That is the end of the video, but now I just wanna get onto something else quickly. I have a second channel and I'm actually doing some other stuff over there. It's a bit different to this channel. It's gonna see me from a completely different angle. And yeah, it's just a joke. It's just me having a laugh, me fucking about. But if you wanna go subscribe to it and check out the videos on there, go ahead, links are all in the description. If you wanna follow me on Twitter or iNavaTV, you can contact me, you can speak to me, you can interact with me. It's all there. Go ahead and link in the description. Also the Instagram at iNava and Snapchat I never I do have a discord server which is in the description as well. Thank you for watching people. Have a great day. Peace